and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on TMD hosting. So let's get started. Before proceeding make sure you subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. So open a new tab, type in blog. This is the TMD cloud hosting page. Let's scroll down. You can read uh, everything about it. The SSD space, private networking, all the features that it offers you, offloaded storage, real cloud uh, platform. This is the uh, hosting provider which I am using at present because this is really amazing. Let me show you the different features that it has. Let's first minimize this so that you can see it better. Okay, so as you can see, it has three different plans, Summer, Rain and Storm Cloud. If you have seen any of my video tutorials, then you, you know that I use the Storm Cloud. Now let's see one by one. These are first the CPU options. So basically, you know what a web host is. A web host is nothing but a, host, uh, a hard disk wherein all your data is saved. All your website data, for example, your codes, your images, whatever you have used, all those data are saved on that particular hard disk. So that computer, the computer on which your hard disk is installed has to be strong and really good computer. So here as you can see the computer which these guys use, the system which these guys use are re is really amazing. It, it has got a 6 cores for 6 GB of DDR RAM. So that is a really fast one. Now comes the bandwidth. It, is, it has got unlimited bandwidth if it means you can transfer unlimited amount of data, you can download and upload. Okay, it's unlimited. Now the third and the most amazing feature about this particular hosting company is that it has an SSD space. Most of you guys should know this. If you don't know, go to Google search SSD versus HDD web hosting and you'll see the difference. You can read all these different articles which are written, but I don't want to read that. Let me show you any of the image. You can select any of this image all show the same results let's select the first one more because it is more clear and easy to understand so as you can see it has given three different criteria a speed iops and latency you can see the speed difference between the normal hdd and ssd there is a tremendous difference between both these things this company the tmd uses ssd space and it ssd away is a way faster than hdd this is iops it is higher the better and is again you can see the difference over here this is latency lower is better so you can see the difference between an ssd and hdd uh, web host there is a lot of difference and not only that it provides ssd it provides unlimited amount of ssd because there are many companies that provide ssd space nowadays but they provide a limited ssd space and here they provide unlimited ssd space at this price this this is a very small price uh, considering the amount of features that these guys are offering here you can uh, host unlimited number of websites for example if you want to create 10 different websites you can host all the 10 websites on the same plan you don't have to purchase a, a single uh, hosting plan for again and again okay so suppose you want to create a new website you don't have to uh, again purchase this hosting plan you can host unlimited number of uh, websites in a single plan you also get a free domain for example my nayashik.com was provided to me for by uh, for as a free domain when i purchased this storm cloud you get a premium support cpanel optimum cache wildcard ssl which is another amazing feature SSL certificate is nothing but this which you see on your screen this uh, green socket which HTTPS very very important especially for e-commerce website and websites which need some data if you want if you want someone to fill in a contact detail even that thing needs an HTTPS or a SSL certificate or else the visitor will get the message that this site is not secure which is not good okay so it has got a three times better performance than these two different plans it has got jet backup spam experts and so on you also get a money back guarantee of 60 days so you can select any one of these but i uh, recommend you to select either the rain cloud or the storm cloud don't select the summer cloud the basic uh, reason is that if you can uh, host only one website over here so tomorrow if you want to install or if you want to create a new website you will have a, you again have to create a new plan over here okay so go with uh, rain cloud or storm cloud i'll go with storm cloud because i have already purchased a storm cloud 
here you have to select your free domain name whatever you like it for example let's type it nayashake1 because i already own nayashake.com so i'll select nayashake1 you can select .com .net .whatever you want and click on proceed now here you have to fill in your contact information your first name last name email address phone number whatever you have okay here are the payment information if you want to make payment through paypal then you can select this if you want to make payment through credit card or debit card you can select this fill in your information okay here is the purchase information the first option is your data center location from here you have to select the one which says nearest to you for me singapore says nearest to me so for you it might be some different one okay so select the one which says nearest to you you can select the period the billing cycle uh, by default it is 12 months i also prefer 12 months that is much easier okay if you want this uh, you can have it if you don't want you can just untick this now here is a very interesting thing just write it like here 7 get a uh, amazing 7% discount on this purchase and by the way TMD uh, gives the maximum discount of 7% so you're getting the maximum discount available okay so once you are done click on checkout once you click on that button you will receive an email from TMD which will look something like this this is very very important email guys make sure you save uh, this information somewhere if you have multiple email addresses you can forward this message to those email addresses so that you don't miss it okay because it has some impo important information like your ftp client username password hosting package server ip name servers okay so this is really really important now what you have to do you have to go to the bottom and here you will find this control panel link open this link in a new tab this link is nothing but your domain name <laughs> password from that email address and click on login okay this is the cpanel almost all the company have similar uh, cpanel whether it's host get a blue host whatever whatever company you see they have a very similar cpanel so now to install wordpress what you have to do you have to scroll down till we reach to this section subtaculous app installer and select the first one which says wordpress now click on this install now button Select HTTPS uh, so that you get the SSL certificate, this secure socket on your website. Okay, now select the domain on which you want to install uh, WordPress. Now delete this WP. We don't want anything in the directory. Okay, make sure it is this box is empty. You can change your site name, your description from here. You can also change this from your uh, dashboard, WordPress dashboard. So you don't need to do it from here. Okay, here is the admin username and password make sure you select a very difficult admin username and password and write it there uh, down somewhere because don't uh, leave it to admin and password if there are many high chances of your website getting hacked if you do so okay so change your username and password okay let me hide this and put up my put in my password now change in the admin email address at the email address which you have access to which you use regularly okay now go to the bottom and click on install okay it will take few seconds to install wordpress on your website as you can see it just took few seconds now here you get two different links first you see your website url let's open that link in a new tab and second is the dashboard url so let's open that link also in a new tab so guys as you can see wordpress has successfully installed on our website we also have this ssl certificate which is very cool okay okay guys so this is it for this tutorial if you want to learn how to create website using wordpress there are many videos on my website on my youtube channel you can check them out those are really really useful videos i have created many kind of website e-commerce website social networking website business website many almost every kind of website affiliate marketing website whatever you need everything is there on my website you can check out my videos and i hope this video was also helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video if it was helpful thanks a lot for watching